I love doing art with you. You already know that. So let's get started. Okay, so um, I really like this um, next project because it's um, a story that you can tell. It's something you're going to make, but it's something that you can tell. So you can tell someone the story about Jesus and um, you'll see. You'll see, you ready? Okay, let's go. What you'll need is scissors. You can use child size, I suggest child size. And then a pencil, mine is red. You can use any pencil um, with an eraser and a marker. So um, pencil, like I've said before, in case you make a mistake. Um, marker, if you feel like, um, I mean, I'm not gonna make a mistake or I'll just get another paper. If I do make a mistake, it's up to you. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you an example of this size paper. And then I'm gonna show you an example that's a little bit thicker. This is a box um, of something we ate last night. And so I still have the box. I'm going to cut at the corner and I'm gonna use the big portion. This is a smaller side. I'm gonna use the big portion. And what I'll be making, or what you and I will be making, is we'll be making some cards. These cards um, are something that I was thinking, if you were at dinner at your table and then you passed out cards to everyone, and then they wouldn't really know what they're about because it's, it's not totally clear. It's not like you're gonna write a book. It's gonna be a card and you will know by what it says um, the story to tell. So you'll know what each card represents, okay? So this is the flap, I'm gonna put that aside. This is the larger side, okay? And then we'll do that one more time. Set that aside. Okay, so here we go. So we have this. We're gonna ignore this, use this. Now, I am going to draw a line. So we're gonna need it a little bit thick. I'm gonna use two of my fingers. You might need three of yours, okay? But I'm gonna draw a line straight down. In fact, I should start with a pencil, right? In case I make a mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the pencil line. Oop, yep, I went a little bit crooked. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over it with a marker line. I'm gonna go a little bit slower. And where I made a mistake, I'm not gonna follow that line. Okay, so that's what I have so far. And then, um, I'm gonna write E-A-S-T-E-R. So I need to actually get I saw someone do this online, and so I want to make sure that I do it exactly. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so it looks like they put a line here. One line down the middle, and then you do two lines, kind of separate it. So that gives us three boxes on the top, and then you go down and you make two more lines. So this should give us all of the letters that we need to spell out Easter. E-A-S-T-E-R. Perfect, we got it. And then um, I'm gonna do it on this one also. Okay. So we're gonna be doing the exact same thing. I should start with a pencil, right? And two or three fingers thick. So I know I'm gonna start there and go down. All right. Not exactly straight but it's okay all right then we're gonna do the same about the middle we'll make a line so that's in half and then we're gonna need two more lines so I need to find two spaces it's about here and here and it gives us three boxes and look over here here and here and it gives us three more boxes e a s t e r so now I'm going to write the letters nice and big. I'm going to write them all capitals because I'm 
nice and big and a little bit easier, okay? So here we go. E A S T E R. That spells Easter. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. E So the E is going to be for everyone. So now you're going to have to write some letters. Not a lot of letters, but some letters. After the E, we're going to write V E R Y. That's every. And then you're going to write O N. Now it says everyone. So in the story you're gonna tell, it's gonna say that everyone was sad. This is about Jesus dying on the cross. Everyone was sad when that happened. So we're gonna make some circles, sad face, eyes. Okay, you can make a few. I only did two so far, but I did circle like a rainbow sad face and then two dots for eyes. So this is everyone was sad. So when you tell the story, you're gonna say everyone was sad. And then for the A, you're gonna add an F, T, E, R, and then the number three. After three. And then we're gonna write three circles. One, two, three. These are gonna represent the sun because it's three days. So when you have three days, you have three sunshines. Okay, so after three days, I'm just drawing some little lines outside of those circles. Okay, so, so far in our story, we have everyone was sad because Jesus had died on the cross. After three days, <gasps> what happened? Ah, I know what happened. So we have an S. It's going to go next. We'll put a T O N E. Stone. So we're going to make another like big rainbow and then a little doorway. We'll color it in. This is the doorway. This is the tomb they put Jesus in and the stone was rolled away. So here's the stone over here. Um, you'll read the story and you'll already know because your teacher's been teaching you about Jesus dying on the cross. After three days, they went to the tomb and the stone was rolled away. So everyone was sad. After three days, they went over and the stone was rolled away. So what is next? Two angels were there. Two. You could even write the number two, so remember. Two angels. So we'll write kind of like an A, and we'll close a little triangle. We'll put a little head, and then we'll put a wing and a wing. Okay? We have one angel so far. We'll do a little triangle again with the circle on top for the head, and then we'll do a wing and a wing. Two angels appeared and they said that Jesus was not there. He wasn't there. They were so excited. So we're going to write X C I T E D. Should we put an exclamation point? They were excited. Why not? Exclamation point. They were so excited. Maybe we could put a huge smile and some eyes, okay? Excited. And then, because they knew that Jesus had risen, he was no longer dead. So we have to add I-S-E-N. He had risen and 
he was no longer on the cross. He, H-E, is, I-S, alive. A L I V E. He is alive. So right now we did this in marker. This is a story. Um, what I'm going to tell you is probably we'll put a number on each. Maybe up in the corner we'll make a number one next to the E. A number two in the corner of the A. A number three on the S. A number four on the T. A number five. Just a small one in the corner and then a number six. So right now it's not cards, it's just one piece of paper. But I thought what would be exciting is if we got our scissors next and we went across that line and we cut creating a card, okay? If you cut a little bit off, it's okay. You can always either redo it, like my son went a little bit lower, so that means my card is not exactly straight. Is that okay? It is, that's okay. And then our stone. It's a little bit of a different size, that's fine. Our two angels. Our excited. And our risen. So, what you can do is you can put these at your table when you're done eating dinner, just tell your family. Um, maybe you're just eating with one person. So you'll say, hold these cards, I'm gonna tell you the story. And then you'll tell them, find number one. So then they'll pick up the number one and they'll say, what does this mean? And you'll say, everyone was sad because Jesus had died on the cross. Or if you have a lot of people, you can pass them out. You could say one for you. One for you, one for you. Oh, I still have some. Okay, I'll give you another one. Another one for you, another one for you, another one for you. However it works out without as many people as you have. So you'll say, who has the one? And they'll say, oh, hey, I have one. And then so you'll say, everyone with that. Who has two? The next person will say, I have two. And you'll say, oh, everyone was sad because Jesus died on the cross. We already said that. But after three days, they went to the tomb. Who has number three? Number three says stone. The stone was rolled away and the tomb was empty. Who has number four? You have number four? Okay. There was two angels there outside of the tomb that was empty. Who has number five? You have number five? Okay. They were so excited. Remember, this means excited because Jesus was not there and they were hoping. And who has number six? Number six, that he had risen, just like he said, that he would not stay dead. After three days, he will come back and he is alive. So you just told a whole story. Or you can put them in a little envelope. I made an envelope earlier. Um, so you can put them in an envelope. Or you could keep them as one. If you want to keep it as one, you could keep it as one. If you want to make a smaller version, you can make a smaller version. Okay? It doesn't have to be this size, and it doesn't have to be cut. But just so that you can tell the story. I had so much fun with you. I love doing projects with you. I'm so glad we got to meet today and do this project together. Um, I hope there's many more in the future for us to do together. Okay. Bye.